What is it about adventure that sets the pulse racing? The rush of adrenaline when one pushes oneself out of the comfort zone is addictive. That is why humankind puts the body through the rigor and challenge of overcoming obstacles, crawling through mud and scraping through barbs out of choice. When the uh, race starts, for good 200-300 meters, there's nothing. So you know you are still anticipating, you know what is next. Jumping across the walls looked a lot easier than it was. The obstacles from a distance looked, um, you know, doable. And as we ran the course, it became harder and harder. I was anticipating the obstacle before it came. You know, you could see it. You know, you're running. Certain obstacles were already there in in a couple of bends because. It's a wide field, so you could obviously have a visual of what your next obstacle is coming. So you are already thinking ahead. So running on hard and uneven surfaces obviously has its challenges. You know, you're in that hot sun beating down on you. You've done a little bit of a run, and then suddenly you come across a body of water, and you're literally, you know, lying on your back, pulling yourself across that body of water, muddy water as it may be. However, it's a, you know, it cools you down, it hydrates you. At the start of that, people were aggressive. You know, it was the beginning of the race. Everyone wanted to sort of you know, get to the finish line before you know, the other person. So there was a lot of aggression in that, uh, in that sense. The crisp, comfortable sun felt way more intense when running and the difficult terrain made things even tougher. Up ahead, all hell broke loose. They had uh, the net which we climbed up. That was actually the riskiest and probably the scariest obstacle that I did. Just past the midpoint of the circuit, contestants were stretching the limits of their bodies and minds. In the heat of competition, the only thing the runners could think of was the finish line. You had to move, the momentum had to be pretty quick because I saw a lot of people falling into the water because they were trying to grab one bar. You had to keep the, uh, the movement consistent. And I saw that my, my uh, gentleman in front of me, which he cleared it very... So I moved from one end to the other, you know, starting off with my stronger hand, which is my right side. And, uh, you know, I cleared it pretty quickly. In fact, that was one of my fastest uh, Obstacles that I, I cleared. Their bodies have been pushed to limits of endurance, but the charged atmosphere keeps them going. The finish line is just one obstacle away. The obstacles needed not just strength and speed, but also balance. This may not look that hard, but one misstep and you'll be as flat as a flat tire. It was nearing the end of the circuit. Exhaustion is too close. Despite all the competition and intensity, Devil's Circuit brought the participants closer. By the end, they shared a camaraderie that comes from going through challenges together. A race like Devil's Circuit begs the question, why do we put our bodies through such rigor? For glory? Sure. But also for our view of ourselves. It's about resetting the limits that we draw for us. It's to prove that we can, if we want, push ourselves beyond the point where we think we can go on no more. It's about learning that we finish what we start.